My name is Brendan O'Kirwan and I drive a Mercedes-Benz 280 SL. Um, this particular car is the car I always wanted. It's a different type of experience to a normal car. Yes, you can smell it, the oil, the petrol, the everything about these cars. It takes over your senses and particularly open top driving, you're, it's in your hair. You can hear it in the engine when you turn it on, you can feel it, you can, and particularly in this particular car here, it's when you look at it, it's the lines of it, it's the chrome, it's the leather, it's the whole lot. So this car was bought in April 1969. Then it passed on to another person, Jean Zimmerman, who lived in the Cape Cod area. The car then passed to an English couple, and they are the ones who brought it back to the UK. Um, and then it passed to John Anthony Dobbins. Um, his collection of cars, I think he took a number of them over to Spain where he retired. I bought it through a showroom in Yorkshire and that car then came to Ireland. So it's been through the US to the UK to Spain to Ireland, so it's a well-traveled car. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune. When I'm back on top, back on top in June. I said that's life. And as funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks. Stopping on a dream But I don't let it, let it get me down I remember seeing it, um, a friend, a neighbour, it was a neighbour at the time and a friend now. The 230 SL that he had, he parked outside our, my house and I remember just thinking at the time that this was just, it was just captured a whole era, it captured the 60s, it captured um, it in a design. They were originally designed by, uh, it was Bella Barieni was the name of the man who designed it with a guy called Paul Brack. Well, these were artists really. Nowadays uh, aerodynamics take over whereas this wasn't really about efficiency it was about how it looked. It uh, carries over a lot of the design features from the previous cars. The curves on the from the headlights which run back to the just under the windscreen. There's that bulge in the bonnet. Other things that are in the car that re I really like is just when you sit into it it's not Current cars, again, it's, a, it's like a Christmas tree when you turn on the ignition, it's all lights. Whereas this is all chrome, is what you notice about it. It is the display of, of the different gauges and uh, they're all, you know, surrounded by chrome bezel. One of the things about this car, it's, um, it was a fairly complete jigsaw. Um, most of the pieces were present and that's what liked what I liked about it. Um, a couple of things were missing, the toolkit was missing and um, it was one of those eBay journeys trying to find the different pieces that were missing. I, it seems like a small thing but these are the things that um, I like, little details. There's a Mesco Hauser um, tire gauge and it is something that is quite hard to find. Um, it has Mercedes-Benz engraved on it. Uh, it's difficult to find and I found one and it's in good condition. These are small little details but they, they make it interesting for me and one of the things that was quite nice is my dad had a, 
uh, one of these warning triangles from that period of time and um, I have it now as part of the kit. It would have been available at the same time as this car came out. So it's just, it's nice to have that included in it as well. In terms of personality, it is a very reliable, dependent, um, it just doesn't let you down. It's a very good companion. Doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me why should it be true? It's just a great feeling, just being, it's a sort of a sense of freedom. Get a kick out of you. Some they may go for cocaine. I'm sure that if I took even one sniff, it would bore me to riff. It's the only car that I can think of in that era in the 60s that was actually extremely comfortable and it drives very like a modern car. I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me. I get a kick though it's clear to see. It's just a comfortable you car to drive, and it's uh, and it looks good too. Me. I get no kick in a plane, flying too high with some gal in the sky is my idea. Nothing to do. Out of you. It takes over your senses. It's a an elegance that's going on in the car. That you every time you drive it, you just feel it.